My name is Sophie Medlin, I'm a specialist dietitian, I've been a dietitian for a long time. I worked in the NHS where I specialised in colorectal surgery and disorders and I do a lot of research in uh, the nutritional consequences of having a stoma. So if you've just had surgery, stoma surgery, or you're going for stoma surgery, it's important that you're aware of some of the important things that might happen in terms of your food. And your surgeon and your medical team should give you some support in terms of what they'd like you to reintroduce at what time of your kind of recovery following the surgery. So that acute care is generally quite good and you should get some support with that. You may also get some written information when you leave hospital that might give you some guidance and some ideas about what to have. What's really important to remember and what I know from some of the research that I've done is that for every person who's cut out various different foods or doesn't eat them because they've been told not to, there's lots and lots of people who eat that food and get on fine with it and can tolerate it really well. So for most people, they can tolerate pretty much any food and should be able to enjoy a really nice varied diet and all the foods they enjoyed before their stoma. There are a few people who will struggle more and there is advice and support available for those people through a dietitian or through their sober care nurse. Often what happens after you've had stoma surgery is that you're, you've had new plumbing essentially put into your bowel, so your bowel is plumbed differently. For someone who's got an ileostomy, for example, they haven't got any of their colon, and the job of the colon is to primarily absorb salt and water, but it also goes on to digest and ferment some of the other foods that we eat. So things like sweet corn, things like mushrooms, are primarily fermented in the, in the colon, in the large bowel. And if you've got an ileostomy, you don't have one anymore. And therefore you digest food differently, food looks different when you when you eat and it comes out in your bag and you can see it. That doesn't mean it's necessarily a problem, it doesn't mean it's a disaster, it just means that you tolerate it in a different way to how you did before. If you've got a colostomy, most people should be able to eat whatever they ate before. The thing with having a stoma is that you're much more aware of what's going on in your body. So you're aware that your bag's blowing up and you've got wind, you're aware of all these different things that are going on that you might have taken very little notice of before. There are lots of foods that cause, even people who are plumbed in completely in the normal way, that might cause wind, might cause bloating, might cause diarrhoea, whatever. But when you have a stoma, you're much more acutely aware of these things. And if you find that you're very worried about your stoma all the time and the output, and it's really becoming a big burden in your life, or it is a big burden in your life, talk to your stoma care nurse, think about other things you can do that get you away from focusing on your stoma, like art therapy, like writing, other things that you enjoy that might broaden out your life a little bit so that you're less focused on your stoma and less sort of spending less time sitting at home worrying about it.